Hi everyone, welcome to Maths All This Week. Do you remember last week we were learning this multiplication? Do you remember? It was this here, timesing. It's a big word, but it just means adding groups of the same number. So, remember, if I had three and three, so two groups of three, how many would I have all together? It was easy, wasn't it? Because we put them together and we counted and we were able to say two times three equals six. That's multiplication. Well, we're so good at that, that now we are going to do the opposite. The opposite is called division. And this is the symbol that we use to show it. Division means dividing. And really, instead of being anything fancy, it just means to share it out fairly. Remember when we did multiplying, we added groups the same size, brought them together. Now we're going to share them out. So you watch. Remember how many cubes I have? So I'm going to divide my six, six cubes, and I'm going to share them with one friend. And I need to work out how many cubes will we get each to make it fair. So, here's a plate for my friend, plate for me. Now I share out the cubes. One for you, one for me, one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. How many cubes? Did we get each? Three. See, it's that easy. The answer is three. So, when I share out six cubes between two people, we get three each. Let's have a go at another one. What if I have, this time, I have nine cubes. I have nine. This time I'm going to put them in the middle. And I want to share them with three people this time. So it has to be the same because it wouldn't be fair, would it? If I gave one to her, two to him, and I kept all of these, is that fair? No, it has to be the same. So I'm going to give them out. Two for you, two for you, two for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. Oh, none left. Three, three, three. We each have three cubes. So, I know that I have nine to start with, remember? Nine divided or shared out between three equals three. Is that super easy? Yeah. Let me show you how you're going to practice. Okay, let's have a look at this girl. She has flowers and she wants to put them into the vases. She's going to put three in each vase. But she doesn't know how many vases she needs. So, first of all, let's count how many flowers she has. Let's count in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, and one more, 15. So she has 15 flowers. So I'm going to write the number 15 here. 15. 
to help me remember. She has 15 flowers. So she can put three flowers in every vase. So let's see how many vases she needs. We have to share it equally. So there's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. She's made five groups of three. So she needs five. So first of all, we needed to write the this here. Fifteen divided by three because she can put them in groups of three. And so all together, she needs five. Let's have a look at another one. Oh, this boy has 20 balls. He wants to put them into boxes. So he's got 20 all together, 20 balls. And he can put four in each box. How many boxes? will he need. So we're going to share them equally so we need to make groups of four. Let's do it together. One, two, oops, three, Four, five. How many boxes will he need? One, two, three, four, five. Easy, isn't it? We're just sharing. Think about it as sharing with your brothers and sisters to make sure you all have the same, to be fair. So, and that is what dividing is. You go and have a try on seed saw for me.